we've washed down the door and it uh, looks like it's pretty good. We'll check it as it dries. Uh, to check it, you simply put your fingers over the top of it. If the chop comes off, you need to rewash it. Looks pretty good. Then we're also uh, covering the glass portions. I could take these panels out, but one of the challenges is that these have been in the sun for a lot of years. They're very brittle. And uh, the risk of me breaking one while it's taken out would be great. So rather than chance that and have a problem, I'm just going to uh, cover them. So I've taken a piece of paper and uh, see if I can do this with one hand while I'm videoing. And I'm simply going to start here and uh, take it up to the corner and just slide it back underneath there to facilitate this. I'm using a spatula to try to just lift these things up and again being very 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 careful not to uh, break them. So anyway, I'll finish this up and uh, we'll go to the next step. Also, since my last video, I think, I've also taken off the weather stripping. What I did is I cut the coffee so it wouldn't tear up the plaster too badly. I uh, pulled put a, a crowbar underneath and pulled them out just far enough to get the nails. Pulled out all the nails and took them out. So they're resting over here on the side. And uh, again, they're old, so I'll probably just put new ones. I'll just go down and buy some new ones. My plan is to, uh, A, either uh, finish these along with the door, or once I finish the door, just touch them up with the, with the paint color. But we'll see which one we do.